हेलो एवरीवन लेट अस डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर 9 और प्रोबेबिलिटी चैप्टर क्लास 11th एनसीईआरटी बी आरडी मिसलीनियस एक्सरसाइज ओके सो लेट अस सी हियर इन दिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग दैट द फोर डिजिट नंबर फोर डिजिट नंबर ग्रेटर देन 5000 आर रैंडमली फॉर्मड फ्रॉम द डिजिट 0 1 3 5 and 7 and what is the probability of the following number is divisible by 5 so we want to find the probability that the digit form using this uh, the number form using this digit is divisible by 5 this is the first question so let us first discuss uh, when the digit is repeated okay so when the digit is repeated fine so first thing is what when repetition allow when a repetition a repetition allow right when a repetition allow in the question now see we want to make a four digit number okay so here we have to fill this four place to making a four digit number four digit number okay fine let us first discuss the how many total possible numbers can be formed four digit but that should be greater than 5000 this is the again important point for us that should be greater than 5000 let us first count the total number total number that can be formed that can be formed total four digit number total four digit number four digit number that can be formed using the given digit uh, that can be formed so number should be what and number should be greater than 5000 right the so number should be greater than 5000 so number should be greater than 5000 we have to make this type of case <coughs> so see if the number should be greater than 5000 so this place this place can be only filled by only two way either we can put here five or we can put here seven so this we can fill in the two ways right now because of the repetition is allowed so this place can be filled by the any one so one two three four five option here we have so this can be filled in the any way again this can be filled with the any way again this will be filled in the any digit but see in this situation if I take the consideration when let us suppose this digit here this one is filled with the 5 okay and the remaining we are putting 0 0 0 so this case the number is 5000 but we want the number should be greater than 5000 means in this counting we have to subtract 1 okay so the total number of uh, total <coughs> number form will be what 2 into 5 into 5 into 5 minus 1 so what is this total value so we can see here this is 10 right and this is 25 this is 250 minus 1 that is what 250 minus 1 that coming out to be here 249 so 249 is what 249 is the total number that can be formed using this list right so okay fine so this is the we have find out the total sample space actually in the first case but what is our favorable case so those number which is divisible by 5 so let us now count or form the number number that that is divisible by 5 divisible by 5 now we know if we want a number that should be divisible by 5 so we know that on the unit place either here 0 or 5 should be there so this unit place can be filled only by two way either we can put 0 or we can put 5 now see because of repetition is allowed here repetition is allowed okay so let us first fill this this place how many way this place can be filled so this place here can be filled in 
either we can take 5 or we can take 7 so this place can be filled in what way 2 way again 2 ways this place can be filled in anyone we can put so that is 5 option here we have to fill this one again we have 5 option but see one case again here when we are taking the situation like this because this can be filled 5 or 7 let us suppose you are taking 5 here and 0 here and all the place you are taking 0 0 so in this situation again 5000 is formed means one number we have to subtract again here because if you are taking this type of situation then the number is 5000 actually but we want the number should be greater than 5000 so what will be the here total number of cases we can count as this will be here 2 into 5 into 5 into 2 minus 1 so what is this value so this value will be this is our 25 25 for 100 100 minus 1 is 99 so what is the probability now you can very easily find the probability in this case so required probability required 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 probability so required probability will be required probability what is the required probability here that is total number of cases is here 99 and 99 is in our favor and divided by total is 249 so this is here uh, can we cancel this one so this one we can cancel i think three times let us check so with the three this is 33 right and with this three this is what eight and this is three okay so i think this will be the answer can we uh, further cancel so no so this will be the here the answer of this first part 33 by 83 okay let us see the next one now the second case is what here second case when repetition not allowed right so when repetition repetition not allowed not allowed see very uh, very easy when repetition not allowed so if you understand the first part so second part understanding is very easy so in this case second part it's saying repetition is not allowed right so let us first count the total number that can be formed so total number that can be formed here that can be formed that can be formed so how much number that can be formed so again see the same situation i am drawing here i am doing here for same sum of space so yes it present because of not allowed okay so this space can be filled in how many way this space can be filled in the two way either two or five okay now this space can be filled in because of the one you have already used here either two or five so for this one you have only three only three option for this one you have only sorry four option here three option and here we have two option this is how many cases 2 into 4 into 3 into 2 that comes out to be 2 for the 8 here 20, and this is 24 24 this is 48 so total number of cases what here 48 let us count our favorable cases now <coughs> now the digit the number number divisible by 5 divisible by 5 let us count this one so we want what we want the number that is divisible by 5 so number divisible by 5 so this place will be up a 5 by either 0 or 5 the two ways okay now if if here let us suppose if uh, to be have to make the two case actually right let us make the two case that the first case we are taking here let us suppose we are fixing here 0 ok so when 0 is at unit place right so how many that we can fill this one 
two digits we can put either here five or we can put seven we have two option right to fill this one to fill this one how many option you have so one plus here filled one digit here filled one digit here filled two digit one so how many digit left three digits so for fill this we have three option right and for fill this we have only two option so here how many number can be formed that is two into three into two that we are getting is what this is a uh, six six into two twelve so we are getting twelve now one case may be so this is the case when we have taken what zero at in place zero at unit place in unit place we have taken as zero now next case let us take he went five at zero place sorry five at unit place then what happened if i taking here we are fixing the five at the unit place five at the unit place so here we are fixing the five again one ways one way to do this now in this case how many ways we can fill this one so only one one option you have because you want the number should be greater than five thousand right so this will be here only one option only seven will be there to fill this one no any you have restrictions so you can take four and here you can take three so in this case uh, when 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 five at unit place when five at unit place unit place so total number that can be formed divided by five is what here one into 4 into 3 into 1 that again comes out to be 12 so total number total number divisible by 5 total number formed that can be divisible by 5 divisible by 5 is what here that is 12 plus 12 okay that comes out to be what here 24 so this is the number that can be divisible by 5 okay so see here one thing that if we are taking the 5 <coughs> at this unit place right so total digit we have only 5 so one we have is here one 7 is here right 7 you can fix over here so for this one you have only 3 option or 4 3 option and for this you have 2 option because only 5 digits are there right? so this way how many option we have here to make so this is your 3 or this is your 2 so this is your 3 and this is your 2 so total 6 is here not 12 this will be 6 only so here it is 6 option so now total number of places is what here total number of places is here 12 plus 6 so this is 12 plus 6 that coming out to be how much coming out to be 15 so this is a 15 here 15 sorry 18 18 here so what is the probability now so probability probability so probability is nothing but total number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of possible outcomes so total favorable is how much 18 is in our favor divided by total possible total possible is 48 so this is the answer this is the answer we can cancel it c we can cancel as uh, we can cancel as 6 3 is 18 right and uh, i think 16 69 yeah? 63 yeah? <coughs> yes so this will be here so next we can call the cancel this is 3 and this is 8 so final answer is what is 3 by 8 so 3 by 8 is the answer of the second part and the first part answer is 30 3 by 83 so hopefully you get the concept of this question very good questions right so now let us move to the next questions. So next question here we have this question number 10. So we will do, uh, we will do now this question number 10. Okay, come. So let us see in this question number 10. Right. So in this question here, the number log of a suitcase of uh, four wheels. Right. So 10 digits are there. Right. From 0 to 9. Okay. The lock open when a sequence of four digit number with no repeats. So no digit will be repeats. That is the lock instead. So what is the probability that a person taking a right sequence to open the suitcase? 
okay so see here uh, this is the questions so here you will have to fill this four place right so this is the four let us suppose this is the one thing second will and third will fourth thing and digit the use useful digit for us are so the digits used in the lock so digits is at a zero one two three four five six seven eight or nine so this digit one can use so first of all tell me how many different possible cases are there so first of all you can take any four digit from this ten digit and you can arrange them in different ways so if each arrangement each arrangement with a different different password or different different lock here okay so let us uh, count the total number of possible cases so total total number of different different lock lock possible so how many total different lock possible so first of all you can choose from 10 you can choose any four you can choose any four here right after choosing you can make the arrangement of them that is the four factorial so this is the total number of lock that can be found here it's clear or not first of all this is very important let, let us suppose you selected here 8 5 2 and zero so this is the four digit you have selected to make your password so that is 0 2 5 and this is the one make to make a password you can make in this also 2 0 2 8 5 this is a different one so in this way actually you have to arrange whatever the possible arrangement you can do in the old way so first of all tn c4 means we can select any four digit after that we can arrange them So we can simplify it. So what is this value? That is 10 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 6 factorial. Why is it called 10 minus 4 into 4 factorial? So this we can cancel. That is what actually 10 factorial. So you can write 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 factorial divided by 6 factorial. So this we can cancel. So we, the multiplication of this will get. That is how much? Seventy-two into seven into zero. You can write. So that will be what? Four. And this is what? Fifty, I think. Right. So we just check once. This is the total number of cases possible. But what is the correct option? Maybe only one. Because whatever the person has said, the password that is the only one. So the number of variable, so the variable, the number of variable cases, number of variable cases. That is only one, right? So only one cases variable means only one password may be there. So that is the only one variable case. So is the probability probability. So if we want to find the probability here, so total favorable divided by total possible total possible is five zero four zero. So this is the answer for this question number ten. So hopefully you got the concept. We have a pass uh, pass uh, suitcase. In this password are from zero to nine a number four digit password. So how many different lock possible ten c four into four factorial. Or you can say that the number of different arrangement that is you can write in this class of 10p4. If you simplify 10p4, you will get the same. This one, 10 factorial by 6 factorial. Ultimately, this will cancel. And if we think first combination, then permutation, then we can write 10c4. First, we select the four digit that we want to arrange, and then four factorial. So this is the total number of possible cases, but favorable is only one. That is the fixed. So this is the one upon the total possible case. That is five zero four zero. So hopefully you get the concept. This question number ten. So fine. Uh, see the next one if it is there. 
So with this, uh, here we have discussed all the questions of probability of at least NCRT. And we will do the competing questions in the another session video. In which we will take the we will discuss the material of all the National Brand Institute. So I am not taking the name here, and that maybe the advertisements or any few of some so that I am not going to do as responsible uh, tutor, as responsible teachers. But we will do the questions, right? So uh, stay tuned. We'll signing off from this video. Thank you so much.